So today I have here a golden choco knee tarantula. Her name is Emma Stone. Isn't she beautiful? Look, she's saying hi to y'all. <laughs> Can y'all say hi to her? Hi. Yeah. So Emma is from Argentina. You won't find this kind of tarantula here, right? That's a good thing, right? Well, here we have the uh, Texas brown tarantulas. And Emma, this is as big as she's gonna get. She's not gonna grow anymore. She's full grown. But the Texas brown tarantulas can grow to be the size of a dinner plate. Isn't that big? Yeah. That's amazing. That is amazing. I wouldn't want her to be that, I don't think I could hold her if she was that big, right? No. Yeah. So tarantulas are not poisonous, they are venomous. Yeah, so if I were to get bit by Emma Stone, it would feel like six bees were stinging me at the exact same time. Yeah. Do y'all have any questions? Yes. Is she a male or female? She is a female. And usually the females grow to be bigger than the males. Yes. Does she bite? She does. Everything with the mouth can bite, even me. Um, does she ever bite you? She has never bit, bitten me before. I've been really lucky. She likes me. Does she bite kids? I don't know. Do y'all want to try and figure out? Y'all want to mm. hold her? Just okay, how about you open your hands and I'm going to put her right in your hands. I've already held her before. Look at you, you're super brave. Walk I do. You are brave. Does she feel a little sticky? Yeah. Yeah, she does feel like she has sticky hands. So, well, she didn't get usually, tarantulas, tarantulas will give you a warning before they're what, about to sting I, you. I, what will they do? So what? The first thing she'll do is she'll try and flick her hairs at you. Yeah, she'll use one of her arms and she'll flick her hairs at you and it actually will make you itch a whole lot. Then if you don't understand the warning, she will shake her tail, her backside right here, and she'll let more hairs go. And then if you're not paying attention after that, she will bite you but she hasn't before. She's really sweet. Ah, uh, that's what you told me. <laughs> she is. She's really, really sweet. Is she going to bite me? Oh, no, she's not going to bite you. She's super, super sweet. Um, I want to hold her. You want to hold her? OK. Yeah. How, how old is she? Well, we don't have an exact date on how old she is, because we've had her for a very long time. Uh oh Good job. She's trying to walk off. <laughs> she gets excited. So sometimes when they get really, really excited, they can jump. Oh. Yeah. Really? Like, how do when they... will they get really, really excited? Um, <laughs> it's probably when they get scared. And probably whenever they get out of their cage. Yeah. And you know, she can even make a beautiful silk. And she releases her beautiful sil silk, Wedding. and it'll grow in a pile, and it's a beautiful little pile of silk. It's awesome. Webbing. Yeah, it is her webbing. And her favorite food is, can y'all guess? No. Insects. Yes, that's right. Insects. She loves crickets. Oh, yeah. Those are her favorite. <laughs> what about ants? Ants? Um, I'm pretty sure she'll eat anything, but at the nature center, we feed her crickets, so she gets big crickets. Mm. Is there another kind of tarantula you have at the Nature Center? We do. We have different kinds of tarantulas at the Nature Center. We have a Texas brown, um, and we have a few other kinds. But have I, they bitten so anyone she, before? Um, she's never bitten anyone. She's she's really good. See, tarantulas are actually pretty docile. This kind is. She's very very docile, so she can actually make a really good pet. Yeah, she's low maintenance. You don't have to feed her too often. You just have to make sure she has water. So she's a I'm really good pet to have. We'll do the snake though. <laughs> we'll do the snake in a little bit. All right. Um, 
don't have any more questions? No, not for One me. One thing, Where's, it, where's her habitat? Her habitat? So she lives in Argentina in the rainforest. She loves the rainforest. She probably she wouldn't make it out in this animals? Texas weather, but she likes the rainforest. Can she bite other kinds of animals? Yes. So if she feels like there's a predator or if she's being threatened, she will definitely bite. And then you like could die, bobcat? right? Will she bite bobcats? Um, I think she would probably run away from a bobcat mm -hmm. as fast as she could. And she's got lots of legs, so she'd run really fast, right? And a bobcat only has four. That's right, and she's probably really good at climbing. Probably. I don't know if bobcat climbs hard. Like, bobcats can run really fast. Yeah, she can. She just can run faster. Can she not bite a bobcat or not? what? Oh, I'm sure she could if given the chance, but I don't think it would happen. I think happen. she'd maybe be scared of bobcats. <clears throat> but you said mm. if when she's getting threatened, she, she bites them. Right. But she runs away. I'm she'll just... probably, if, she's, if she doesn't feel like she can run away, she'll probably definitely bite first. Okay. No. But you didn't bring the fish. Well, we can't bring the fish. Tune in to us next time on The Pack. Thank you.